Okay, so um, in this problem, we are going to um, kind of do a decay series for um, alpha and beta decay. So um, in this problem, we um, they've given us initial isotope, and it's kind of hard to see, but it's um, 224 over 88 Ra. Um, or radon, and so it says that it goes undergoes the fall the following decay in order. So um, uh, part A is alpha. So we'll take that um, top number and we'll minus it by four, and that'll give us two twenty. And then we'll take that lower number and minus it by two, and that'll give us eighty six. Um, and then it says in part B, it also undergoes uh, beta decay, or alpha decay, excuse me. So we'll do the same thing, except we'll use our answer from part A, and we'll start with that. And the same thing, we'll use our answer from part A, and we'll use the same equation. Okay, um, now, I'm going to try and find some different colors so you can see each um, step. Uh, part C is a beta decay, so that's a little bit different. So we're going to do, um, we're going to still take that first number or that number we ended the last one with, except in this one we're going to minus by zero because that's just how um, beta decay works. And this should be 216, excuse me. This is why I don't trust myself to do mental math. And then um, for Z, we'll do 84, which is again that um, ending number here. And we'll add one, and that'll give us 85. And then we'll do one last one. Part D is um, alpha decay. And so we'll take this, um, this 216, and we'll put that in here, 216. And we'll minus it by four again, because it's alpha decay again. So that's going to give us 212. And then for part Z, or um, the Z number, I guess, um, we'll do 85 minus 2. Again, that's the same thing we did over here. And we're just taking that first, that answer from part C. And so we're going to get 80, um, 83. And so then our final answer will be um, 212 over 83. Um, and so now we're going to look in our periodic table and we're going to look for 83 and that's BI. Okay, so for this one, um, you'll get points for having the correct answer here. You'll get points for showing your work and having the correct answer for this, for that, that, and that. And those will be your five points for this question.